Hello everybody, I'm Marco D'Ambros. This video want to be a little bit extra follow up the tutorial on how to build a bolt system uh, in Bifrost. And I want to show you how to uh, use uh, this, the step port of Bifrost to get some interesting effect. So, uh, if you can see uh, this video on collision, there is like a, a two part video and I will uh, attach the link, I will write the link uh, below in the comments. So, uh, let's start to do a very quick animation loop just to show you my amazing animation skill. So let's start. Okay, let's start here. Let's see. So like you see in the previous video, uh, let's uh, increase the radius on 1.1 just to have like a small differences. So we have a, like a collision. So what do we want to do now? We want to change um, where the our base uh, base mesh or actually where we get the point of our base mesh. So get our get, get point position, create a compound, let's say uh, target point position. So what we want to do, we want to create another mesh input. This will be our previous in mesh and we are going to change the status of this attribute set port on out mesh. If you see this icon, this means um, when we are going to change this attribute here, it's going to storage a new value on this attribute. This allows us to keep the previous uh, status of our uh, of our mesh. Uh, the first thing we want to do that is just like for safe reason. We want to check the mesh point count. So we want to be sure then the, our previous mesh is computed and is computed properly. So we want to compare the point count between these two meshes equal. So if the two the, 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 the number of vertex are the same, we can say we can say that we uh, the, the the computation is went properly. It's a weak condition, but it's a condition. So let's say condition here we can we want to say that if is if this one is false so they are they're not equal we want to use our in mesh value instead if it's equal it's meant our previous mesh is work fine so we can go there and we can connect so now i can show you the result already so when we go you see the mesh does not return a previous status because it keep the previous position vertex so we can we can create this sort of effects to um this sort of effects so let's show you oops cool so this is a this is what i should want to show you let's add some uh, another small condition um that will be on our let's create input here we are going to create another if condition. So this is going to be a, a boolean there. A boolean. So we, we want to even like reset or uh, force the uh, continuous, uh, the continuous mesh on all. Like we say reset, or we can even call, you know, whatever you prefer. So by default it is false. So we want to have true at the moment. So um, if, the condition is correct. So if if the our condition that is our reset is true, we are going to use our in mesh. If it's not, we are going to use our condition between the previous and not because we want to always check that this value is uh, is correct. If it's not, we are going we are using the wrong mesh and it will be just a mistake. Cool. So now. With this condition, we are the same effect than before, so just the push mesh, right? But if we turn this off, 
we are going to keep the status. That's it. Thank you very much to follow. Have a lovely day, Marco.